Hello seniors, this is Mr. DeSala from the College of Career Center. In this short video, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of how to apply to a California community college. We went over the process briefly in our mid-year presentation video, but I'd like to give you a brief demonstration here so you know what to expect. Uh, first, you'll want to go to CCC Apply. This is where you'll find the links to the application pages of all 116 community colleges in California. Most community college sites will have clearly indicated application pages, so the steps for each college shouldn't differ much from what I'll be showing you here. To start, you can select the college you'd like to apply to from the drop-down menu here. For the purpose of this video, I'll be showing you the application process for Chabot College, one of our local community colleges. Once on Chabot's site, you'll want to click the first tile that says New, First Time in College Student. From there, click the gold button under Step 1 that says Apply at CCC Apply. This is where you'll make your open CCC account, which is used to access all California Community College applications. The process is relatively simple. Just make sure you have a professional email address available to use instead of your personal email address. You want to make sure to keep your work and school materials separate from any personal mail. After clicking Begin Creating My Account, you'll be asked to fill out some basic information, name, birthday, etc. The application will also ask for a social security number or taxpayer identification number, but whether you provide one or not has no effect on your admission. If you know your number, you can input it here. If not, you can move on or provide it at a later time. There will be an additional box to check at the bottom if you're an undocumented, international, or non-resident student. If this applies to you, make sure to check it. On the next page, you'll need to provide an email address as well as a residential address. For email, make sure to use your professional email address. If your permanent address is outside the United States or you are currently homeless, check either box that applies. You can also put your phone number in for account recovery, class cancellations, or emergency notification purposes, but it isn't required. On the final page, you'll create your account credentials, your username, password, security pin, as well as answer some security questions. After you completed all these steps, your OpenCCC account will be complete. From here, you can click on continue to move onto the application for whichever community college you are applying to. In our case, it will take us to the Chabot application. You can also go back to the college application page and get to the application page from there using your newly created OpenCCC login and click on start new application. Now that we're on the Chabot application page, you'll want to select the term you're applying for, which if you plan on attending next year after summer break will be fall 2022. From there, you can select your educational goal as well as your intended major or program of study from the drop-down menus. Note that these are non-binding. You aren't locked into whatever you choose here, just try to answer to the best of your ability. Moving on to the education tab, you'll select your college enrollment status, high school education, and your last school attended. If you plan on graduating CVHS in the spring and have never attended any college before, your responses will be first-time student in college, received high school diploma from U.S. school, and I attended high school. A few more options will appear under each section, which you can fill out accordingly. For high school completion date, you can just put May 27th, 2022, since that is the final date of our school calendar year. For high school transcript information, it will ask for your GPA, as well as the highest levels in English and math you have completed along with the grade. Next, we have the citizenship slash military tab. If you are not a U.S. citizen, you will need your alien registration number or your visa information, depending on which applies to you. Next, under the Residency tab, you'll be able to give information about your residency and, if applicable, indicate if you fall under any special categories. If you are homeless or in foster care, for instance, you can indicate that here. On the Needs and Interests tab, you can indicate whether you're interested in receiving information about financial assistance, campus athletics, or campus support programs and services. We recommend saying yes to the first bubble under Financial Assistance since there's no downside to receiving that extra college financing information. Next is demographic information, which you can answer to any degree that you are comfortable with. This information mainly helps the college get an accurate understanding of its student body. Under the Supplemental Information tab, you'll be able to express interest in a variety of campus programs ranging from programs for working students to campus learning opportunities for specific student populations. Check whichever interests you, but above all else, make sure to select Yes under the Student Orientation and Registration section. This will sign you up for an orientation later in spring that introduces you to the campus as well as grant you priority registration access. SOAR is Chabot's priority registration program, but other campuses have similar opportunities, which may appear within their applications or on their websites, so make sure to check before applying. The last step is to submit your application on the submission page. You can review your application here if you'd like before checking the final confirmation boxes. Once you're ready, you can click Submit and your application will be complete. Make sure to check your email for further instructions to access the college's online portal. In Chabot's case, you'll receive a W number to log into ClassWeb, 
That's Chabot's online portal where you'll register for classes, manage your finances, and access, access your zone mail. Now you're all done applying for community college. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to drop by the College and Career Center. Once again, my name is Mr. DeSala with the College and Career Center. I hope you have an excellent day.